Hey everybody, I'm Don Gillespie. I've been working on porting the Mobile Studio Desktop to Linux. Um, so, real quick, just to recap, what is the Mobile Studio? Uh, it's an I.O. board that was developed here at RPI that mimics the functionality of most of the electronics equipment you'll find in the lab, so function generator, um, analog inputs, digital output, digital, digital I.O. And right now, it only supports Windows. So. Uh, implementation. I don't like going about doing this. Um, using LibUSB, uh, some of you may or may not have heard of it. It's a um, pretty cool open source project that basically handles most of the real low level system calls to talk to the board. So it's designed for um, client level applications to communicate via USB. And another cool thing is that it supports Linux, BSD, and Mac. So even though my primary focus here is bringing support to Linux, it's really not very far off from supporting BSD and Mac also when this project's done. Um, Bill Brubaker, who is in charge of the software for the Mobile Studio, actually asked me to continue following the naming and class conventions that they're using in Windows because he wants to be able to make sure that in the future, if they continue writing more applications, that it's easily portable to the Linux version. And I was actually pretty excited when he asked that because it means that he's not just going to be like, oh, that's nice, and throw whatever I write away. <laughs> They're actually interested in using this. Um, so what's been done so far? Um, analog input is done. You can read data from the board. Um, all the software is written for triggering and um, both channels of analog input. Um, digital input is written. It's kind of flaky right now. Um, every now and then it works, mostly doesn't. I think I'm, I'm having problems with um, the order in which I do think something is grabbing the focus on the board and it's not releasing it. So I'm still working on that. And the function generator is written, but it's not working yet. Um, the first image up here, it's, it's probably kind of hard to see, is just a data stream coming in from the analog input. So you can see it was measuring minus 2.6 volts. Um, and this is just a, one of the working digital input tests. So what's next? Uh, I have to finish the driver, obviously. So I have to debug the digital I.O. and debug the function generator. Hopefully that won't take too long. I'm pretty confident in it. And then I need to talk to probably Professor Connor and try and get some time in an electronics lab where I can use an actual uh, function generator and oscilloscope to make sure the board is uh, actually doing what it tells me it's doing. Um, from there, I'm looking to write the interface with LabVIEW. Uh, I actually had talked with someone about why LabVIEW they were concerned that it wasn't you know, the, the truest way to do things open source because the language itself is proprietary. But LabVIEW is the quickest way to develop a usable application for this. And it's really all about increasing the visibility of the projects. If you have something that students can actually use and touch and it's useful in the classroom, then more people are attracted to work on it. So in the future, if you rewrote the whole application using C++, then that's great. But for now, the quickest way to get an actual GUI on this thing is LabVIEW. Um, I was actually approached by Jihan, who some of you may know, I guess she did our cause project a few years ago. Um, she was interested in helping contribute, so I was pretty excited about that. So right now she's working on coming up with the hardware and software for regression testing because the concern is always that if you plug the board into Windows and they do a massive firmware update on it and suddenly something's changed that the Windows version of the code was expecting but I was never told about and it breaks something, we want to be able to quickly figure out why and what happened. And I, I really, coming as the sem next semester comes, I'm really pushing to recruit more people for this project because I only have one more semester here at RPI and this is something that 
I think has a lot of potential and can really continue for as long as the mobile studio does. Any questions? The lab view, by the way, is the CEO or the, the chief executive officer of lab view is an RPA alumni. And he is also in the board of RPI and has been quite helpful to RPI in terms of donating money. For a minute, I, I, Jeff Kodowski is his name. He founded the company. So if you, if you, I and mean, when you do the contribution to lab you, you should send an email to him. He will be happy. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you all. So we are, uh, we are in the stretch run.